Glory to Jesus Christ. Today the psalm is Psalm 37 for Tuesday, which we will pray especially for the sick and suffering of our parish. The changeables are page 80, and then we go back to 79 for the aposticha. Blessed is our God always, now and ever and forever. <clears throat> glory to you, our God, glory to you, heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and dwell within us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O gracious one. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, come to us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Come, let us worship our King and God. Come, let us worship Christ our King and God. Come, let us worship and bow down to the only Lord Jesus Christ, the King and our God. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me, Lord, in your rage. Your arrows have sunk deep in me. Your hand has come down upon me. Through your anger all my body is sick. Through my guilt there is no health in my limbs. My guilt towers higher than my head. It is a weight too heavy to bear. My wounds are foul and festering the result of my own folly. I am bowed and brought to my knees. I go mourning all the day long. All my frame burns with fever. All my body is sick, spent and utterly crushed. I cry aloud in anguish of heart. O oh Lord, you know all my longing. My groans are not hidden from you. My heart throbs, my strength is spent. The very light has gone from my eyes. My friends avoid me like a leper. Those closest to me stand afar off. Those who plot against my life lay snares. Those who seek my ruin speak of harm, planning treachery all the day long. But I am like the deaf who cannot hear, like the dumb unable to speak. I am like a man who hears nothing, in whose mouth is no defense. I count on you, O Lord. It is you, Lord God, who will answer. I pray, do not let them mock me, those who triumph if my foot should slip. For I am on the point of falling, and my pain is always before me. I confess that I am guilty, and my sin fills me with dismay. My wanton enemies are numberless, and my lying foes are many. They repay me evil for good, and attack me for seeking what is right. O Lord, do not forsake me. My God, do not stand afar off. 
make haste and come to my help. O Lord, my God, my Savior, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My spirit yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let them be shamed when they see your zeal for your people. Let the fire prepared for your enemies consume them. Alleluia, alleluia, Alleluia. You have increased the nation, O Lord. Increase the nation to your own glory. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. We mortals now dare to sing and offer you the hymn of your heavenly ministers. Holy, holy, holy are you, O our God. Through the protection of your heavenly powers, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as the army of angels in heaven, O Lord, with fear we on earth offer you this hymn of victory. Holy, holy, holy are you, O our God, through the prayers of all the saints, have mercy on us, now and ever and forever. Amen. We dare to glorify you, O Christ our God, together with your eternal Father and your most Holy Spirit. And with the cherubim we cry out, Holy, holy, holy are you, O our God. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Page 80. Worn out by the disease of sin, and lying on the bed of despair, I pray to you, O physician of the sick, visit me and do not let me fall asleep in death, so that I may cry out to you, O Lord and fountain of mercy, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. The beginning of our salvation was announced by Gabriel to Mary, when the angel appeared to her. She did not refuse the greeting, she did not doubt, 
as Sarah once did in the tent. Rather, she said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, let it be done to me according to your word. Yesterday and today Lazarus suffers from his illness. His sisters send word to Christ about him. Prepare yourself, O Bethany, to receive your master and king in joy, and to sing with us, O Lord, glory to you, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Most holy Theotokos, protectress of Christians, save your people who call upon you with confidence and fervor. Drive away the shame of our wandering thoughts that we may cry out to you. Rejoice, O ever virgin mother. Wisdom, a reading from the book of Deuteronomy, let us be attentive. In those days Moses said, You shall tithe all the increase of the grain your field produces year by year. You shall eat before the Lord your God in the place he chooses to have his name called upon there. You will bring in the tithe of your grain, wine and olive oil, the firstborn of your oxen and sheep, that you may learn to fear the Lord your God all your days. But if the journey is too long for you, so you are not able to carry the the tithe, or if the place the Lord your God chooses to put his name is too far from you, when the Lord your God has blessed you, then you shall exchange it for money, take the money in your hands, and go to the place the Lord your God chooses. Then you shall spend that money for whatever your soul desires, for oxen or sheep, for wine or strong drink, for whatever your soul desires. You shall eat there before the Lord your God, and you shall rejoice, you and your household, and the Levite who was within your cities, for he has no part or inheritance with you. At the end of every third year you shall bring out the tithe of your produce, Then the Levite, who has no portion or inheritance with you, and the resident alien, and the fatherless, and the widow, who are within your cities, may come and eat and be satisfied, so the Lord your God may bless you in all the works you do. At the end of every seven years you shall grant a remission of debts, so the order of the remission is as follows. Every debt your neighbor owes you, you shall remit. You shall not demand it back from your brother, because a remission is proclaimed for the Lord your God. If there is any poor man among your brethren in any of the cities in your land that the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not harden your heart nor shut your hand from your poor brother, but you shall surely open your hands to him and willingly lend him sufficient for his need, whatever he needs. Beware, lest there be a hidden thought in your heart, a transgression of the law, saying, The seventh year, the year of remission, is coming, and your eye be evil against your poor brother, and you give him nothing, and he cry out to the Lord against you, and it be a great sin among you. You shall surely give him and loan him as much as he needs, and your heart should not be grieved when you give to him. For this thing the Lord your God will bless you in all your works and in everything to which you put your hand. For the poor will never cease from the land. Therefore I command you to do this word, which says, You shall surely open your hand to your brother, to your poor, 
and the needy in your land. And today the Lord teaches us about money. If there's one thing Catholics dislike hearing more than the call to confession, it's probably the challenge of tithing. Yet it's perfectly clear right here. The Lord says you will give back 10% of everything the Lord your God allows you to produce. And this law of tithing includes some very interesting things. First of all, it has to go to the temple. And if you're really rich and you have a lot of grain, a lot of wine, a lot of oil, a lot of different herds, that could be a lot to carry. And so the law, as, uh, as written down finally, already imagines a money economy where it's possible to, to cash in the sheep and the grain and the wine and the oil and just bring up a big handful of coins. And once you're in Jerusalem, to buy all the things you need to offer the tithe to the Lord, which explains why there were all those money changers and salesmen in the temple, as we'll hear this Sunday. What happens to the tithe? Well, a portion of it is actually sacrifice. But as you heard, a portion of it is enjoyed by the people who brought it in Jerusalem. Once again, it's an invitation by our Lord for the entire family of his people to gather together in his house and celebrate with him. Which reminds us a little bit of the, the blessing of Paschal foods that we're going to celebrate in just two weeks. Some of it gets shared with those who have nothing to offer. The Levites, the, the clergy who do not have a portion of the land of Israel and therefore don't farm and therefore have nothing to offer. And also, the Lord specifies, the widow, the alien, the poor they should literally be invited to the party. It's a very different picture from the way you and I think about charity, isn't it? And I think a lot of it has to do with the money economy. If I have a sandwich in my hand, and you look at me in my sandwich and say, can I have some? What am I going to do? I'm going to break the sandwich in half and give you half. If I've got a, a wad of bills in my pocket, and you approach me on the street and beg for money, what am I going to do? I'm going to peel off a 5 or a 10 or maybe a 20 and hand that to you and feel like I've done a great deal of charity. See the difference between money and things? There's so much more could be said here. How many times do we hear either grumpy Christians or utter non-believers say, why doesn't the church just sell off all, all this gold and give it to the poor? First of all, let's remind ourselves that the tithe goes to God's house. There are specific commandments given by God to Moses for the building of his house, for a place where God and people should come together. And this earthly temple, we are commanded to make it after the pattern of the heavenly throne room of God. And so it's got to be glorious. Point number one. Point number two. There's probably not enough gold in this glorious cathedral to fill two of your teeth. Point number three. If we sold off all the gold, if the Vatican sold off all the Michelangelos and all the Raffaellos and all, all of these beautiful things, who'd buy them? Some overfed sheik? Who deserves them? If not God and his people. Because this isn't just God's house. This is your house with your father. Think about the history of this building. In 1890, a bunch of immigrants 
bought a ramshackle wooden chapel used by 1902 they were building this who were they they were people living in these tenement apartments all around here people working as day laborers in all of these mills and all of these factories for pennies they built this house I remember the first time I heard the first liturgy I attended in Jersey City so many years ago at the great entrance when the priest commemorated the noble and ever memorable founders and benefactors of a very glorious little church. And I looked around. It was mostly the children of the founders the best of them had desk jobs or were policemen. Most of them were still working in factories. Noble? Were these people noble? Yeah. Yeah. By the nobility of their gift, they created a palace for their God in one of the least attractive neighborhoods in Jersey City. And they were proud to show off the palace they had built where God and they, and thank God I, could come together. We are ennobled by our charity. We are ennobled by our ability to work together to build something beautiful, to come together as God's beloved children. That's why we build churches. That's why we build them beautifully. But God's word makes clear, in these beautiful churches you build, don't forget the outcast. Don't forget the widow. Don't forget the stranger. Don't forget the poor. Have mercy on me, O God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. Wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. In the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. Sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may thrill. From my sin, turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create in me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, burnt offerings wholly consumed, then you will be offered young bulls on your altar. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, 
more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who a virgin gave birth to God the Word. You truly the Theotokos we magnify, because he has looked upon the humility of his servant. From this day forward all generations shall call me blessed, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim who a virgin gave birth to God the Word. You truly the Theotokos we magnify, because he who is mighty has done great things to me, and holy is his name, and his love is from generation to generation to those who fear him. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who a virgin gave birth to God the Word. You truly the Theotokos we magnify. He has shown might in his arm, he has scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who a virgin gave birth to God the Word. You truly the Theotokos we magnify. He has put down the mighty from their seat and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who a virgin gave birth to God the Word. You truly the Theotokos, he magnified. He has received Israel, his servant, being mindful of his love, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who a virgin gave birth to God the Word. You truly the Theotokos we magnify. On page 80. For humanity it is impossible to see God, upon whom even the angels dare not gaze. But because of you, O most pure one, the Word made flesh is seen by mortals. And when we extol you together with the heavenly armies, we proclaim you blessed. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Long ago the first created couple was expelled from paradise for having eaten the forbidden fruit, and the human race was subjected to death. Therefore, O oh my soul, fast in these present days, run from this harmful example, and turn yourself away from the pleasure which is the source of evil, brought about by the forbidden fruit. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. In my spirit I think about your judgment, and it is eternal fire, even before appearing before you, O oh, just judge, I feel myself to be condemned. I shudder and tremble, for more than any other here in this life, I have sinned against you without measure, but in your goodness spare me. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Let us blot out the darkness of our passions with the light of prayer, 
and carrying the palms of virtues, let us hasten to meet Christ who shall come on a donkey, for he is preparing himself to suffer for the salvation of the human race. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. O full of grace and immaculate virgin, it is from you that Christ has shone forth. He is the Prince of light and peace. He has risen upon those who were held captive by the dark night of passions. He has delivered us from our transgressions and clearly granted us the remission of our sins. On page 79. Deliver us from deadly greed, O Savior, and number us in the bosom of Abraham, together with Lazarus the poor. For our sake you became poor, although you are rich in mercies, to lead us from the tomb to immortal life. For you are a compassionate God and the lover of mankind. In the morning fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Bound by the chains of sin, O oh my soul, you have fallen into laziness and inaction. Like law, turn away from Sodom and Gomorrah. Avoid the fire of impurity. Do not turn back, lest you become a pillar of salt. Save yourself on the mountain of virtue. Flee the fire which burns the merciless rich man. Join Lazarus in the bosom of Abraham and cry out in the humility of heart, O Lord, my hope and my refuge, glory to you. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Emerging victorious in battle, and imitating the incorporeal angels. Your martyrs, O Lord, have withstood the torments. Their only hope was the joy of future gifts. Through their intercession, O Christ our God, Give peace to the world and great mercy to our souls. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. O Blessed Virgin, we implore you as the Mother of God, Intercede for the salvation of our souls. Let us complete our morning prayer to the Lord. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. that this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us beseech the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. For 
what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord that we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance. Let us beseech the Lord For a Christian painless, unashamed, peaceful end of our life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Peace be to all. Bow your heads to the Lord. Holy Lord, you dwell on high, and yet behold the depths, and with your all-seeing eye you watch over all creation. To you we bend our neck in spirit and body, and we implore you, O Holy of Holies, stretch forth your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place, and bless us all. If we have sinned voluntarily or involuntarily, forgive us as a good God who loves mankind and gives us earthly and heavenly gifts. For it is yours to be merciful and to save us, O Christ our God, and we give glory to you together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. As we stand in the temple of your glory, we consider ourselves standing in heaven. O Mother of God, heavenly gate, open to us the doors of your mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Blessed be Christ our God, the one who is always, now and ever and forever. King of heaven, support our civil authorities, confirm the faith, calm the nations, give peace to the world and safeguard this city. Grant those who have gone before us a dwelling place among the righteous. Accept us all in repentance and have mercy, for you are good and you love mankind. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who a virgin gave birth to God the Word. You truly the Theotokos we magnify. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Lord and Master of my life, spare me from the spirit of indifference, despair, lust for power, and idle chatter. Instead, Bestow on me, your servant, 
the spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O Lord and King, let me see my own sins and not judge my brothers and sisters, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Lord and Master of my life, spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O Lord and King, let me see my own sins and not judge my brothers and sisters, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, our hope. Glory to you. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Christ, our true God, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother through the prayers of the holy archangel Michael, whose church this is, through the prayers of the holy prophet, forerunner, and baptist John, through the prayers of the holy martyrs Chrysanthus and Daria, whose memory we keep today, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ our God is gracious, and he loves mankind. Ah, 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 oh, amen. Having suffered, the passion for us, Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy on us. Having suffered the passion for us, Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy on us. Preter pivis a nostrasti, Iisus e Hriste, Sone Boži, pomiluj, pomiluj, pomiluj. 